Hidden deep in the remote Lijiang in Yunnan province is a miracle on earth, the stone town of Baoshan. Like a pearl set in nature, this village sits on top of a huge natural rock surrounded by steep cliffs, and simply represents a challenge to the limits of human habitation. For most of us, the lifestyle here is almost unimaginable, but for the residents of Baoshan Stone Town, this has long been their ordinary daily routine. The villagers of Baoshan Stone Town live with the cliffs every day, relying on the steel and rattan ladders that connect heaven and earth to get around. When the sun rises, a real-life rock climbing adventure takes place in front of every house. The villagers must walk along these cliffs, hundreds of meters high, through a rattan ladder suspended in the air or a ladder made of steel, in order to reach the fields below the mountain or the neighboring village. For them, each trip requires a great deal of courage and care, as any mistake can lead to serious consequences. But years of exercise have made them more and more resilient and agile in this environment. In this land of isolated cliffs, the only means of transportation for daily necessities was the mule. These steady companions are not only an important means of transportation for the villagers, but also a bridge connecting them to the outside world. Whenever they need to transport daily necessities or bring harvested crops to the market, mules are their indispensable helpers. They traveled steadily on the steep mountain roads, carrying the burden of the villagers' lives, and became an irreplaceable part of Baoshan Stone Town. Instead of a flat road home, the villagers of Cliff Village face an almost vertical steel staircase. This is not only a great test of physical strength, but also a challenge to willpower. Every step must be taken carefully to ensure their safety. For them, such a way of getting home has become part of their daily lives, but for us, it is certainly a daunting challenge. The sun is about to set as the villagers begin their journey home. Carrying the day's hard-earned crops or livestock feed on their backs, they make their way to the edge of the cliff. Facing the steel ladder, they take a deep breath and start climbing. Each hand on the ladder requires all of their strength and concentration. The steel ladder is cold and hard, and each step up the ladder is accompanied by pain in the palms of the hands and physical exhaustion. Especially in bad weather, such as the rainy season or windy days, the steel ladder becomes even more slippery and difficult to climb. With the wind and rain blowing and their vision blurred, every step on the steel ladder is like a fight with the Grim Reaper. But there is no choice. This is their only way home. The villagers must rely on their deep understanding of the cliff environment and their tenacious will to survive. Even for the cliff villagers who are used to this way of life, climbing the steel ladder to go home every time is still a great test of mental and physical strength.
The agricultural activities in the cliff village are full of tenacity and wisdom. But the hardships and difficulties of life are equally moving. On this precipice, every daily life and agricultural labor is accompanied by great challenges. First of all, the scarcity of land resources makes every inch of arable land precious. The villagers of the cliff village must utilize the narrow and uneven slopes of the mountain to reclaim small terraces and plots of land. The oranges and yams they grow need to find suitable locations in the rugged terrain, which is a difficult task in itself. Laboring on the cliffs, in particular, not only tested their farming skills, but was also a great test of their courage and physical strength. Raising livestock is equally difficult. In such an environment, it is difficult enough to find adequate food sources, let alone ensure the safety of the animals. The villagers need to be constantly alert to the danger of their cattle and sheep accidentally falling off the cliffs, which means they have to keep a close watch on their livestock to ensure that they forage for food in a safe area. Every grazing is a test of the villagers' patience and responsibility. The management of water sources is also a major challenge. In Cliff Village, there are no readily available water facilities, and the villagers must rely on natural rainwater and mountain springs. They need to skillfully design and maintain water channels to ensure that their crops are adequately irrigated. During the dry season, the scarcity of water sources is a great nuisance to the villagers' lives and agriculture. They often need to travel long distances to find water sources further away, which is both a challenge to their physical strength and a test of their perseverance. In short, while the agricultural activities and daily life of the cliff village are full of wisdom and living in harmony with nature, the hardships and difficulties behind them are also self-evident. In this heavenly danger, the villager's life is not only a demonstration of survival skills, but also a persistence and challenge to the willpower of life. Every day, they find a balance with the gifts and challenges of nature, and use their sweat and efforts to sustain this place of life on the cliff.